Okay, now let's look at example 2, page 54, chapter 2 in your handout. Evaluate integration of 3e e the power of x over square root of e the power of 2x minus 3 dx. The solution is as follows. Okay, from the given question, okay, we have denominator e the power of 2x and numerator e the power of x. Okay, so we can write denominator in terms of numerator e the power of x. How? Okay, from properties of indices, we can write e the power of 2x in denominator equals to e the power of x bracket squared. Because when we simplify e the power of x bracket squared, we get back e the power of 2x. Yeah? From properties of indices, if we have e the power of x bracket squared, we can multiply the power. So we get back e the power of 2x, okay? which is in denominator. Okay? So we write the denominator in the form of e the power of x, which is also found in the numerator. Why? Because from formula, derivative of e the power of x, we get back e the power of x. Okay? So after that, we write into the form of a squared and u squared. Okay? A should be constant and u should be the function in terms of variable x. Okay? Before that, we can move out constant 3 outside integration sign. Okay. And then from e the power of 2x, we can write e the power of x bracket squared minus. Okay, how to write the whole number into squared? Okay, the whole number uh, that I cannot write in terms of perfect squared. So we can write, okay, 3 equals to set 3 bracket squared. Okay, when we simplify squared and square root, we get back 3 here. Okay, so now we write in the form of a squared, which is set 3 squared, and u squared, which is e to the power of x bracket squared. Okay. And then we can use u substitution. Okay. Our a is constant set 3. Our u is e to the power of x. Remember, a should be constant. U should be fx. Okay. And after we identify u, we need to differentiate. Okay. So when we differentiate, the symbol becomes the u over the x because we have u in terms of variable x. Okay, so when we differentiate, it becomes du over dx. And when we differentiate e the power of x, we get back e the power of x. And after that, we need to write dx as a subject. So we cross multiply here. Okay, so we have du over e the power of x. And after that, we substitute back. Okay, so we have. 3 integration of e to the power of x over square root of u squared minus a squared times du over dx. Okay, e to the power of x here, okay, we no need to replace in terms of u because we want to simplify e to the power of x from numerator and e to the power of x from denominator. Okay. Okay, now our a is set 3 from here. Okay. Our u is e to the power of x from here. Okay. Our dx is du over e to the power of x from here. Okay, we substitute one by one. Okay. And after that, we can... Simplify e to the power of x e to the power of x here. Okay, that's why we don't need to replace e to the power of x 
in terms of u for numerator here. For the numerator here, because we want to simplify with e the power of x in denominator. Okay. Okay, and after we simplify e the power of x, so we have 3 integration of 1 over square root of u squared minus a squared du. Okay, and then we can write 3, okay, and then inverse cos u the power of a, u over a plus 3, okay. How we get this formula, okay, okay from... The, the given appendix, okay? From formula number 18, okay, we have integration of 1 over square root of x squared minus a squared dx equals to inverse cos x over a. Okay, now we replace x by u. Okay, so we have, when you compare, okay, we have integration of 1 over square root of u squared minus a squared du equals to inverse cos u over a plus c. Okay, we use this formula. Okay. And finally, we replace back u equals to e the power of x and a equals to 3. Okay, so the final answer is 3 inverse cos e the power of x over 3 plus c. Okay, got it? Okay, now, how about example 3 in page 54 in chapter 2 in your handout? Okay. Evaluate integration of 2dx over x bracket 4 minus ln x squared. Okay, the solution is as follows. Okay, from the given question, okay, look at x in denominator. X in denominator here actually is 1 over X. Yeah, multiply the function with 1 over X. Okay. And then we have ln X here. Okay. So the relationship between 1 over X and ln X is when we differentiate ln X, it becomes 1 over X. So if we have relationship in terms of derivative, means we can use u substitution and our u should be ln x because when we differentiate ln x it become 1 over x okay okay now if we take u equals to ln x okay we have u squared so every time when we have in terms of u squared maybe the answer after we integrate Okay, becomes either inverse hyperbolic function or inverse trigo function. Okay, so x in denominator here is actually 1 over x, okay, which is the derivative of ln x here. Okay, so the best way is we choose u equals to ln x, okay, because the derivative of ln x equals to 1 over x means we get back the numerator okay the numerator here actually is 1 over x but when we move to denominator it become over x here okay okay so when we choose u equals to ln x so we can write into the form of a squared minus u squared okay before that, we can move out constant 2, and then we can write 1 here, and then we can move the x here, okay? And then we write the constant 4 equals to 2 squared minus ln in bracket squared, okay? After that, we use u substitution, okay? Our u should be constant 2, and our our a should be constant 2 and our u should be term containing x. So now our u is ln x. After we identify u, we need to differentiate. Okay? So when we differentiate, we have du over dx equals to 
We differentiate ln x, the answer is 1 over x. And after that, we write dx as a subject. Okay, we cross multiply. Okay, we multiply dx times 1, so we have dx. We multiply x by du, so we have x du. Okay. And after that, we substitute back into the given question. So we have 2 outside integration sign, and then 1 over x bracket e squared minus u squared x du. Okay. We replace 1 by 1. Our a is 2 from here. Okay. Our u is ln x from here. Okay. Our dx is x du from here. Okay. We no need to replace x here because after this we can simplify with x from here. Okay. If we choose the correct method, okay, we can simplify all terms containing x. Okay. So now we can simplify x in denominator here and x here. Okay. So, after we simplify, we have 2 integration of 1 over a squared minus u squared du. Okay. And then, we can refer from appendix. Okay. From formula number 19. Okay. Integration of 1 over a squared minus x squared du. Okay. It will equal to either 1 over 2a ln x plus a over x minus a plus c or we also can write 1 equals to 1 over a inverse tens x over a plus c if modulus x less than a. Modulus x less than a here means a come first. Okay. Okay. So now from here we have a come first. So we can write the answer either in terms of inverse tens or in terms of ln. Okay. Let's say I choose the answer in terms of ln. Okay. So we have 2 here. Okay. And then integration of 1 over a squared minus u squared du. Okay. We use this formula. Let's say I choose the formula in terms of ln. Okay. So we can write 1 over 2a ln, we replace x by u, u plus a over u minus a plus c. And after that, we can simplify 2 here. Okay. Okay, so after we simplify 2 here, and then we replace a by 2, okay, we replace u by ln x. So the final answer is... 1 over a, which is 1 over 2, ln, ln x, which is u, plus 2 here, a, okay, over ln x, which is u, okay, minus 2, which is a, okay, plus c. So, this is the final answer, okay, got it? Coming up next, example for integration of inverse hyperbolic functions. Okay, so thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye. Assalamualaikum.